today we are unboxing Lego Random Booster number four. And wow, it's been quite a few Lego Random Boosters so far. Um, today we have Lego Phoenix Spread Roll Destroy, Lego Longinus Dime Shift Variable, and our prize bay, Lego Aegis Dash Outward Web Stake. Alright, first pool we have Longinus. So, firstly, the layer is a Lego Longinus recolor, uh, which I named Blood Longinus because it has a lot of red. And the gold and silver are also pretty cool. The metallic coloring on the sides mimics the metal dragon heads on the real Longinuses, and the two L's signal Lego Longinus. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite bay recolors. Inside the bay has the dime weight, which is actually different than the normal Longinus's weight, which is penny. Uh, but instead, this dime weight comes from Lego Apollos and Eclipse. It does weigh slightly more, but has a greater risk of becoming unbalanced as there's more space for the coins to move. And then the frame is Shift, which comes from Lego Helios, and it's just a black and transparent red recolor. And lastly, we have the new driver, Variable. Now, I know this doesn't wear down like the real variable, um, but I called it that just because it looks really similar. If you really wanted to add an evolving aspect, uh, you could attach a stud or something to the bottom and then just detach it. Um, but of course, for now, I'm just gonna focus on keeping it like this. Putting the bait together, uh, we have Blood Longinus, Dime Shift Variable. It's a pretty short attack type. Longinus Test Launch. Three, two, one, let it rip. Pretty fast. Next pool, boom. So first up is the layer, which is a recolor of Lego Phoenix, nicknamed Ice Phoenix. With its white blue and light blue, uh, it sort of reminds you of snow or ice. For this layer though, there are a couple of minor changes to improve the mechanics. So first of all here, there's a bit more metal here that can also grip to the ring. And also there's some quarter tiles in here to not get in the way of the armor. As for the armor, the places where these hinges connect um, are moved out as much as they can, while here they're just kind of straight, giving this a bit more of a circular design to helpfully increase defense. So that's the layer. Ice Phoenix. Then the weight is spread, which is pretty standard and from Lego Harusud. It features this basic mode change uh, where you can tilt uh, these plates um, to shift the metal to how you want. After that, the frame is Roll, which is just these eight circular Legos uh, from Lego Satan, nothing special. And finally, the driver is destroyed uh, with this pin here and a free spinning ring around it. This originally came on Lego Longinus, and if you notice the color scheme, uh, can be paired with the other Longinus in this random booster. But beside that, putting the bait together, there we have Ice Phoenix. Phoenix test launch. Three, two, one, let it rip. And then we have the last bay. You should know what it is. It's of course our prize bay, Lego Aegis Dash. Since it's a new layer, I'll go a bit more in depth about Lego Aegis Dash. The outer design has these four flattish contact points, uh, as well as four curvy ones in between. By putting a stud into a hole like that, and then putting on one of these boat studs, you can create a definitely rounded design that kind of reminds me of a ball, which is why it's Aegis Dash. And who other than Aegis Dash would have the ball weight, also known as Outwards, from Lego Zeus. When it's spinning fast, the balls will go outwards, and when the spin slows down, they'll come back in. Overall, it should have pretty good defense with a pretty rounded design, uh, though it is a bit tall because of the weight. And then we can put on kind of the face plate, uh, which I have to admit is probably my least favorite design among this whole random booster. 
compared to Lego Aegis, the gray is a lot more emphasized, uh, but it was pretty hard to create a good design uh, using an octagonal base instead. But either way, that's Lego Aegis Dash. With a new layer, we have a new frame as well. So this is the web frame, and it has a super wide, low, circular ring. Hopefully, this will give it a lot of life after death, and its weight distribution is also pretty good. And the final part is an orange-colored stay. Originally from LEGO Bahamut, it's a really solid defense driver um, that has good stamina as well. Definitely better than Quest, so already this combo is better than its predecessor. Aegis Dash Test Launch! 3, 2, 1, let it rip! Now let's weigh the combos. So, Blood Longinus weighs 48.82 grams, not bad. Um, Ice Phoenix weighs 42.237 grams. And Lego Aegis Dash weighs 44.67 grams. Time for some test battles. Longinus versus Aegis Dash. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Yes! Again. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Come on! Oh! Oh, and a sick burst by Aegis. Come on. Oh. Phoenix versus Aegis. Three, two, one. Let it. That was pretty unexpected. Three, two, one. Let it. Oh, there goes the armor. And there goes Phoenix. Phoenix versus Longinus. Three, two, one, let it. Was that a double burst? I think one of them burst a bit before. Three, two, one, let it. That was close. All right, so that was Random Booster Volume 4. For me, definitely a pretty sick Random Booster. I really like these recolors, and we got a new bay. Um, so, yeah. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Lego Bays out.